Yo guys, what is up? In today's video, I'm going to be doing something slightly different since I've been getting a lot of requests asking how I record my GTA gameplays and include any in-game chat, my own voice, and in-game audio all into the same video clips. So, it is slightly difficult and costly, but hopefully I'll be able to dumb it down for you guys and you'll be able to do it for yourselves without too much difficulty. So, let's get straight into the video. However, before we begin, Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment on my videos for more of these types of videos or any of my GTA, FIFA, or H1Z1 gameplays in the future. Hope you guys find this video helpful. Please remember to share it with your friends if you do. Okay, so for this method to work, however, you're going to need to purchase a few items. All the items that I have currently are, will be listed down into the description below, so go check those out if you're kind of lost and don't know where to find specific items. So let us begin. First thing you're gonna need to buy is a monitor that can output sound. It doesn't need to be that expensive, it just needs to output some type of sound and have an audio jack. And I'll explain later why it's necessary to have an audio output on your monitor. Next thing you need to purchase is a standalone microphone. You can either choose from any of the standalone microphones, there's a lot out, out on the market. I personally have chosen the Blue Snowball which is 50 bucks on Amazon and it's been amazing for me. So do as you please, I will have the link to the Blue Snowball down in the description if you choose on buying that one. Next thing you need to purchase is of course the Elgato. which. You can either buy the cheaper one, which is around 150 now, I think, on Amazon, or the more expensive one, which is now 200 But for this method, that's not needed, so I suggest just going with a cheaper one and saving yourself a few bucks. Next, you're going to need either another standalone microphone, which will definitely increase the price, or you can just choose any of your headsets that you might have lying around the house, which you can plug into your PC and that is going to pick up your own commentary through the Elgato game capture software. Last but not least are the two most important things for the system to work. You're going to either need a laptop or a desktop where you can plug in your Elgato game capture software so the system on your PC will be able to pick up any of the recorded gameplay and of course you're going to need the game console of your choice. I know it definitely works on the PS4 but I don't know if it entirely works on the Xbox One, that is your thing to figure out. I'll let you guys figure that out, but it should be the same type of procedure on both consoles, so I don't think it should matter too much. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how you actually plug in everything and how everything hooks together, so you guys can record all that wonderful gameplays that you guys plan on recording. Okay guys, so once you have everything plugged in, what you're going to do is take this microphone, your standalone microphone, and you would think that you would put that into the computer. However, that is not actually how it is done in my method. What you do is get the cord for your Blue Snowball microphone or any other standalone microphone and plug it straight into the PS4. This will then pick up the volume, or your voice, I mean, from the mic into the PS4 and then you can communicate with the people online. So, you would think that you would have an echo, right? Because it would only be coming through the TV speakers. So, this is where you will need a monitor with an aux cord. So, this goes and fits right at the back here. So, we now have our headphone plugged in. These are all sorted out. So, now we have our voice where we can talk to our friends. We have the headphone jack, which will stop the echo coming into the speakers and into our microphone. Okay, so once everything is plugged in, your headphones into the monitor, your PS4 plugged into the Elgato, and your standalone microphone plugged into the PS4, all you've got to do is hook up this microphone or your headset, if you have one, into the computer, then go onto your Elgato game capture software and all you gotta do is hit this little commentary button and it should flash up as blue and you should be able to see a bar showing up right there as you can see with my voice. So once that is done, all you have to do is mesh with these settings here, the sliders, to get the best balanced audio you can possibly get. And that is about it guys. 
So yeah, I'm sorry if the camera work was not the best. I tried my best with it to make it as easy as possible for you guys. If you do have any more questions with how to record this and record party chat audio and in-game sound, all you gotta do is just write down in the comment section below and I'll be happy to try and help you out. So yeah guys, hope you have enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy these how-to videos and helpful videos like this one, please remember to leave a like on the video and tell me down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope it helped you all out. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Keep up.